Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be checking out the Kia Soul EV Plus. So a pure electric Kia Soul. Uh, starting off we'll check out visibility. So looking out the front, actually pretty good. Looking out the sides, great as well. And looking at the rear, plenty of visibility all around. The only thing is that one rear pillar in the back which could be a little bit uh, tricky. So that blocks a little bit of your visibility but aside from that looks pretty good. Now as far as the interior, Plenty of space uh, for my legs, they're not coming into contact with anything. And actually, I've got the seat a little bit too high, so even still, you know, at 6'1", I've got plenty of space in here. Electronic display up front giving you your range remaining and the speed that you're going. You've also got a nice large screen for navigation. Uh, all the buttons pretty easy to understand, large and, uh, you know, push buttons rather than touch. So I do like that, very functional interior. So let's go ahead and take it for a test drive. Ooh little bit of tire spin right there. So these electric vehicles are all very torquey. Um, this one is the last one that I have to test and it has the longest range of the EVs here. So that's a nice benefit of it. That's thanks to the largest battery pack. Uh, so you know it is a little bit heavier than some of the others. It's also a bit more expensive, um, but it's very practical. You've got plenty of cargo space and you've got uh, the longest range as I've mentioned. Now it isn't that aerodynamic, so on the highway it's probably not going to do as great as some of the others, uh, but if you keep it in the city you're going to have a good range because of that large battery pack, and so that's a nice benefit of this. Brake pedal feel, pretty firm, not a whole lot of travel to it, but nothing necessarily bad about it. You know, it's it's uh, got a nice progression to it as you press into it, and so you don't really notice the regen braking all that much. Uh, as far as, you know, there being a difference in feel. Like some of the vehicles I've tested, uh, for example, the Ford uh, Energy uh, Fusion, um, that one, you could definitely notice the difference between when you were using the brakes, the disc brakes, and the regen braking. In this one, you don't really quite feel it. It has a unique feel in that sense. Now, when you do let off the gas, it does start to slow down a decent amount. So some of the others don't, some of them do. Uh, this one does start to slow a bit. So it's not like if you're in a gasoline powered car and you put your foot down. So we've got a nice torque delivery there. It starts to drop off once you get into the higher speeds, but good torque delivery regardless. So as far as noise vibration, uh, overall it doesn't seem too bad. You do hear a little bit of road noise from the tires and you kind of can hear the surrounding cars, uh, their tires as well. Uh, didn't hear too much wind noise, but I wasn't going all that quick. I think as far as visibility is concerned, this is one of the better EVs to check out. Uh, you know, you have a great view of what's going on around you, a nice kind of lifted up, uh, you feel a little bit higher than the other ones and you can see more in front of you uh, because of that and also out the sides very good, rear very good. So some of them, you know, they're a little bit constricted and they have these dashboards that come up pretty high. This one does not. You've got great visibility pretty much all the way around.